you think you're doing just setting up shop at my fort? Just cause I hugged you don't mean I ain't still sorry, squalor <laughs> vampires. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please, you're very well. Oh. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but my what it a man. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my plunker head brother. Five million moon beams. I didn't realize the Hulk brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna! That's Kratos! Oh, you can call him whatever Kratos yeah. Kratos, Lunga. We go back. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Hey! Where's the armor I made you? I used it. I busted my shapely hunkers, forging every manner of breastplate and pauldron in all of creation. And yet, now you stand before me, two step from butt-ass naked. Maybe this go-round you... Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Mm. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Where are you looking at? What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? <laughs> Number. Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak them. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about.
I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... 
I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Oh! Hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! Spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? Be reminded of all this. The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved, 
Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the sport holes we found in the foothills of Midgar ages ago. These plants behave similarly to the scorn holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well, Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Hmm? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them.
How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Open Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! The creature! It belongs to Odin! No! Protect Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are! Bastard was counting on it! That's it! Don't relent! Don't just stand there! Move. Drag it out! Don't let it hide in the realm tear!
Let your axe reach the sigil! No! You're up in attack through well cares! I see it! No! Your other weapon! You know what to do! No! Your other weapon! Yes, be ready for anything.
Garden. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? To be honest, I don't think I can do either. There is still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be, it'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. 